Let us continue with the chapter Time Goes On. One day in the life of Kusum. Let's see what Kusum does every day. Write down the time for each picture. For some pictures, the time is already written and you must draw the hands on the clock. In others, you have to write the time shown by the clock. So look at the first picture. Kusum gets up early in the morning and the time in the clock is the minutes hand is at 12 and the hour hand is at 6. So the time is 6 o'clock in the morning. Now in the second picture she brings water from the well and the time is given at 6.30 in the morning. So the hour hand will point at 6 and the minute hand will point at 6 too. Because when the minute hand reaches 6, so 6 multiplied by 5 is 30. That means 30 minutes have passed. Third picture, she is cleaning her house and the time shown in the picture is 7.30 or 30 minutes past 7. She goes to school and the time given is 8 o'clock. So the hour's hand should point at 8 and the minute's hand should point at the number 12. She is studying in school and the time shown in the clock is 10 o'clock. So we will write 10 o'clock in the morning. She comes back from school and the time given is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So the hour's hand will point at 1 and the minute's hand will point at 12. She takes lunch with her brother and grandmother and in the clock the hour's hand is at 2 and the minute's hand is pointing at the number 12. So it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. She plays with her friends. Time given is 5.30 in the evening. 30 means that the minute's hand should be at 6. Because 6 into 5 is 30. So the hour's hand should be just beyond 5 because half of the hour has already passed that means 30 minutes have already passed and the minutes hand should be pointing at 6. So the time now in the clock is 5.30. She listens to a story from her grandmother before she sleeps and the time is 9 o'clock. So the hour hand should point at 9 and the minute's hand should point at 12. Children, now prepare a chart showing your own daily routine. Here, you will write the time of the day in words and also draw it on the clock. And you will also mention what do you do at that time. I hope you have understood how to draw the hands of the clock and how to write time. Happy learning!